Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is our match preview for the game between Republic of Ireland and Georgia at the Viva Stadium for Tuesday night. Um, coming off our 1 0 victory in Gibraltar, how are we feeling? What are our thoughts towards this game? Are we feeling optimistic? Are we feeling excited? Are we feeling like we're dreading it? What are the thoughts from? Somewhere in the middle, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure. Um, look, the game on uh, Saturday is one that I aim to quickly forget because I think it was just one of those games that, you know, at the end of the day, we'll, we'll leave behind us. You know, a lot of fans weren't too pleased with it. But, you know, we'll we'll move on. Georgia coming up on, on Tuesday, it's going to be a proper test. And I think this will be the first real assessment of where Mick McCarthy is, where the players are. Um but I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm not I'm not nervous or, you know, anxious about the game. I'm looking forward to seeing Mick McCarthy back in the Aviva, well, in his first time in the Aviva as Ireland manager. Um second well, spell yeah, that's obviously. as the Aviva. As the Aviva, yeah. exactly, yeah. But no, I am I am looking forward to it. The bottom line is I'm looking forward to it. I think it's a game that we could win. I think it's a game we probably should win. Um I think it might be scrappy. I think we probably won't be playing beautiful football or whatever, but you know, if we get ourselves across the line and get six points from six, it's the perfect start where I'm concerned. Yeah, Ashton? Well, I'm well, optimistic. Well, I think that we'll collect three points. I think the lads will do the job. Like, I think they'll play well. You're confident? Yeah, though? I'm confident. Like, I think we have the a good group of footballers. Like, you know, I think that we'll definitely come away with three points. Like. I think that I think it's, it, we should be optimistic. Or it's going to be a completely different game to what it was mm. against the world. That we were on a pitch that we're used to playing on. You know, there's a lot of experience in that squad still. Yeah. Um, players that have, have played and some of our best results are still still in the squad. Your Hendricks, yeah. Coleman's, McLean's and all that are all still there. They're not experienced at this level. And they didn't usually when we're expected, except for maybe the Denmark 5-1, but usually when we're expected to go somewhere and get a result, like you think of the Wales game, got a result. Uh, that's just the most, most recent one that sticks out in my mind. But when, when, we're, when we know we have to go somewhere and get a result... We were usually quite good at doing it. People would say, "Well, yeah, well, when Serbia came or whatever, we didn't beat them, but yeah. you know they went out yeah. to top of the group and stuff like that." Yeah. So, but I, if I'm, like they're going through Georgia's, you know, the UEFA Nations League, they they beat Kazakhstan two 0 they beat Latvia one 0 they beat Andorra three 0 they beat Latvia three 0 they drew one all at Andorra. I mean, Andorra, poor. Um, and then they beat Kazakhstan 2-1, but Kazakhstan beat Scotland there the other day. 3-0, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, looking at that, and then they obviously lost 2-0 to Switzerland, and, you know, Switzerland battered them. They had 25 shots against uh, their six, and then they had one on target, and Switzerland had eight on target. So, <sighs> Switzerland are a good side. Let, like, we're not kidding anybody thinking that, you know, they're probably... Them and Denmark are obviously favourites to yeah. to qualify automatically, but I mean I don't see why we can't throw a spanner in the works and, and have a go off them. But we'll come to them when we're playing them. But in regards to this game, I, I just I want to go in optimistic. I do think that we're gonna get a result. I, I I'm feeling quite confident that we'll we'll get over the line. It might look and look if if it is scrappy, who cares? It's still a win. Like as as, as yeah, Mick said in his press conference, I don't remember how many. Uh, Times when I played badly, people would criticise me if we won. Exactly. So if we're stiff, like if I, it, anything is better than the last year under Matt on yeah. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. I think even the goal against Gibraltar showed that. Yeah. You know, it was actually a nice bit of passing around. Well, you saw how happy the players were, didn't yeah. you? Like they were, they seemed to be just very, very pleased. It was a sense of relief, nearly, yeah. that we we got a goal and. You know, we were we were moving again, run the road again. Um, I'm on the one road. Yeah, I, I'm content. And um, to be honest, we can play the ugliest football that we've ever played. But if we get the result against Georgia, I think that's all that matters. And you know, we're not Barcelona. We're not going to be passing the ball around tiki taka, one touch stuff. You know, we're going to be playing it ugly. It doesn't matter. That's how we played it before. That's how we've got mm. results before. That's probably how we're going to do it under Mick, as he said. And you know, that doesn't bother me if the goal goes over the line through an on goal or. A, I don't know, some sloppy... If it goes in off someone's arse, so I don't yeah. care. It doesn't matter. A it's goal's a goal and wins a win. Like, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If we have to grind it out, we'll grind it out. Georgia are a tough side. Obviously, they'll want to bounce back from that Switzerland result, but mm. the reality is, if we win the game, that's all that matters. Yeah, well, that's we've, all that matters. We've, got, we've got a serious record against them. We've won eight, drawn one, lost zero against them. So, 
Yeah. There's no like psychological like worry about him. The the obviously the most recent result was a draw and Shane Duffy scored, yeah. didn't he? And then they battered us for the rest of the game. Yeah. He scored it quite early and then they battered us for yeah, the rest of the game. And then the, the game win. before that, then the other away game was the one, little bit of magic by Aidan McGeady and then he scored. So I think that's the one that stands out in people's mind the most. Cause it was Coleman who scored against them at home, wasn't it? Well, I think yeah, it was a series one. Game. My man, Shane's. Yeah. But uh, that was a series. That, so we, we have scored some good goals against them as yeah, well, we you have, know yeah. what I mean? But as I said, I, I, but that was that was only 1-0 that game, wasn't it? It was 1-0, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, we have if we home go, record against them. Like yeah. But if we're, go, yeah. if we're going... Uh, if we win the game one 0 against Georgia, I don't care. We don't no, have to beat them no, to no. five six nil. It's okay. six points at the end of the yeah. day, and it's uh, it looks well, doesn't it? When you're looking at the tables, and it's six points from six, it's um, it's the perfect start. It's what you want. So again, if it's if it is just one nil, and the goal comes in the last second of the game, the reality is it's six points, and it's, I won't be complaining anyway. Yeah, well, I think for this game in particular, I think it's vital that us, the fans, have to make an intimidating atmosphere and have to be singing chanting getting behind the team because it's been like a library at times yeah. in there you yeah, know yeah, yeah. be happy that we have yeah. a new manager be happy that Absolutely. we've won our first game in what nine or ten now like it's it's the droughts lasted far too long so the fact that we are going to hopefully start you know seeing better football hopefully the players will start getting more confident on the ball I'm optimistic and I think we should have a good campaign. Obviously, Switzerland and Denmark will be tough. We understand that. We know that. But I I go into this qualification with a smile on my face. I'm happy the way we are. At the minute. So good. Yeah, so yeah. far, so good. Like We've ticked all the boxes, really, apart from maybe scoring more goals. But that's that's about it, really. You know, We were unlucky against Gibraltar at times. And again, the conditions weren't favourable. But home turf, Tuesday night, let's see how we do. Yeah, is there anyone in particular you're looking forward to seeing in the Viva that you may probably have not seen under O'Neill? Like, I don't know, maybe Horhin or... or Matt Barty, like, yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah. Sean McGuire I think, well, I think a lot of people's hopes are kind of hanging on Matt Barty. Yeah. I think it's a little bit unfair as well. I think there's a lot of pressure on him to, to almost deliver. He's, he's oh, all... I don't think so now. Do you think so? Which? That there's a lot of pressure on him. To deliver, yeah, because yeah. he's doing so well for Wolves, yeah. But people think, people need to remember he's playing for Wolves. He's not playing for yeah. Manchester City. You know, um, yeah, people are kind of looking at him kind of like our version of Gareth Bale. Not saying he's anywhere near his level, <laughs> but that's almost what I feel like people are kind of comparing him to. I think at the minute, we're look, looking for him to make the the difference. And you know, it's, I imagine it's quite hard for him no. to do that because he's so trying to adapt. That pressure that yeah, is, but he's trying he's trying to adapt to a new position in 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 right mid because he's kind of be up and down and he's not used yeah. to having someone behind him. So he's probably just adja- adapting to that. But I I do think he'll come good. I, I mean. There's no doubt in his ability. He he doesn't doubt his own ability. He's quite confident. He's, yeah. He feels he's as confident as he's ever been right now. You know, he's having a great season. So, yeah, again, but, you know, if Seamus turns around and, and gets the winner in the last minute, I'd be delighted as well. So, uh, whoever scores, if I don't Darren care. If Darren scored, I'd be happy. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I would really like to see Sean Maguire have a really good Absolutely. game. Yeah. Maybe yeah. get a goal. You know, if you got a penalty or something like that, maybe let him take it. Yeah. Um, because he's the only real penalty takers because we never get penalties. Yeah. So we, I think Jonathan Walters was our penalty. I was going to say that. Yeah. And he's yeah. now retired. Yeah. So thank you for your service, John. If you are watching, Ooh. legend. Uh, but I could see Connor taking a penalty as well. Oh yeah, he could. Yeah. Him, yeah. Um, he said peace. I just it actually. Didn't do that well against uh, Gibraltar, Robbie Brady as well. He was talking about set pieces. Uh, Rob Brady, mm. Brady probably he didn't yeah, get a penalty yeah, against yeah. France. Yeah. But he was a bit disappointing for me against Gibraltar. But sure, yeah. people would say the whole squad were. But again, I think Brady at the Aviva is, is a far better player. Do you know who actually impressed me? I and mean, we actually forgot to touch on it on the final word is Enda Stevens. I thought he was very good. Yeah. On the ball, solid yeah, on the he ball. He was, in fairness, yeah. Um, I think if he's allowed maybe get forward a bit, a bit in this game and actually see what he's you know, what he's best at doing. Because the thing is, if he does go with McLean for this one, like he did against Gibraltar, he may well go for the same 11 as you were saying. Yeah. I think McLean will cover. McLean, McLean's good like that. He, he's up and down. Yeah. He doesn't just hang up the top. He will work. He'll work his socks off for the team. And I think that's what everyone knows you'll get with McLean. He might not bring the best of, you know, ability maybe. Like I would, I would have Robbie Brady ahead of him. I think Robbie Brady's better footballer well 
if Brady had maybe McLean's work ethic, he'd probably be a far better player. Yeah, I'd yeah. rather James and me. I'd have to agree with that. Yeah, but I think I think Ender can play, and I think James would be quite content to allow him to pass him. You know, we know mm. Ender's good getting forward and has been for Sheffield mm. this season. So, if, you know, maybe they just sort of switch roles. But the only thing is, I think Brady would be a lot, a lot better for linking up. Yeah, um, the, 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 yeah, the only thing is, I just see. I, that we're lacking, like. Yeah, I think I just see McLean starting because I don't really see why he changed his squad up from the the Gibraltar game, to be honest. But he he might, he might. Um, we'll have to see, I suppose. Yeah, and you know, it could even be a chance for someone like McGoldrick to maybe make a, a real claim for for that jersey. You know, you got to assist it or not. Yeah. But for for him, maybe to get a goal could be huge for him. You know, I think a lot of, there's a lot of players there that need to get a goal just to get off the mark and kind of take like McGuire number one. He needs Absolutely, to get a goal yeah. just to take pressure off him. Because the more that goes on, the more it's going to play in his mind. He's like, yeah. I haven't scored for the for a while. Like, why can't I yeah, score? Yeah, well, if, if Sean's going to be our starting striker during this campaign, then definitely getting a goal against Georgia would be nice, considering he didn't get anything against Gibraltar. He didn't get much of a look-in on uh, on Saturday. So hopefully we get something. And as I said, even if it's a penalty, if he just gets himself a goal on, on Tuesday, it would be great for him as well. A great confidence boost. I think Glenn Whelan might be thrown into this one. I think he might go for a 4-5-1. I think Glenn Whelan might be the sitter because, you know, from watching them before, they, they do play, you know, decent football. And yeah. the, their star player is Georgi Kakavetsa, who plays for Ghent. He's a tackling midfielder. He's got mm. four goals if you go by UEFA. He's got five goals if you go by Wikipedia, but there you go. So um, he seems to be a really good player for them. I, mean, I wouldn't, you know, the Belgian league is not a great league, but, you know. People say the same about the Dutch league. But anyway. He's good confidence though going into the game. Yeah, but I just think if someone like Whelan or something like that is marking him, mm. he just makes sure he's you know, snapping at his heels the whole time. Break up the and just, just, yeah, just, just man mark. Cause he's, he's their danger man, he's yeah. the one that's going yeah. on. But I, I, I don't think there's any harm in having someone as experienced as Glenn Whelan sort of sitting in front of that yeah, back true. four and sort of being the, that first line of defence really. So um, if, if Glenn was the start, then I, I wouldn't have any complaints as such. The only thing I'm, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed about, almost in a sense, is, is James McCarthy hasn't played any, any football really for Everton, and yeah. I think he'd be, it'd be the perfect game for him to come in and be that player to sit, because uh, he's he's that's what he's best at, at yeah, you know? yeah. So I even think he's Everton's best defensive midfielder when he's allowed to play. That's, that's a debate for another day. Mm. <laughs> well, I just I just think he is. I'm never fan. I watch yeah. him a lot, so I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't um, really know myself now. Huh? I wouldn't really know. I don't really watch everything. Yeah, but that's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if you yeah. had someone that, like even McCarthy said it, he goes, "I want him in the squad, but I can, but I can't pick him because he's not playing. You can't you can't really fault him for it. Just like no. a fish, trying to play players yeah. that you know have he met, he touched on it before about players playing for clubs and they have partnerships. So like Whelan and whoever him would know each other from playing at Villa as well. So yeah. there, there is that. In there as well, Stephen and Egan as well. Yeah, we might, we might see John Egan involved, well, but I don't, I don't think he's going to take Kyo out for for Egan. Probably not. No, at probably this not. rate, I think he trusts Kyo a lot more. I think he thinks he, he looks at Richard Kyo more as a leader, which you know he is captain of the Derby and he's been captain of us a few times as well. Yeah. When Seamus was out, so him and him and Kyo, or so him and Duffy seem to have a good partnership there anyway. Yeah. But you know, ideally, ideal preference, I would have Egan in there. But you know, I just gone by what I think will actually. Um, happen and I think that'll be yeah, Duffy I think the, this is a bit what I think this, the starting level will be I think it'll be a 4 5 one. I think he might take uh, he put in wheel and maybe take out maybe McGoldrick or McGuire I think one maybe. of those yeah, might, maybe. might drop out I hope not I hope. I actually hope he goes yeah. into the team yeah. but I'm just thinking about what he might do he's not as unpredictable as uh, as Martin O'Neill he always had a wild card crazy yeah trick up the sleeve Cyrus Christian sent them in, type yeah. of thing, you know. So I, I look. Madness. We go there, we get a result. What What are your score predictions? Just to wrap it up now. I'm gonna go one nil Ireland. I think it's gonna be a tight game. I think Georgia are gonna, you know, make sure that they make it as difficult for us as possible. As I said, they want to bounce back from that Switzerland defeat, but I think we will get a goal. And um, again, it might be scrappy, but as long as we score, I'm happy. So I'm gonna say one nil. Yeah, yeah, I'd go either one nil or two one. I could see them sneaking one with your man who was in good form, like you know. Georgie. Yeah, Georgie. Yeah, but um, I do think that will win, like you know. But um, yeah, one nil or two one. I know two one. Yeah, I was thinking two one myself. I just think that they might cause us a little bit of a scare yeah. at some point, and then once we kind of get over, or we could be tuning up, and then they get a, maybe a late goal, and 
yeah, I can kind of see it happening that way. I just hope. Yeah. You know, how amazing would it be if we came out of this winning four 0 or something like that? You know, and then yeah, we have a real, a real against, buzz uh, coming Gibraltar, into yeah. a real buzz coming into the next set, set of qualifiers. Then that exactly, would be, yeah. that would be fantastic. But uh, that's that's been it in terms of a match preview. Um, we hope to have more content from the press conference and stuff in the morning. So we'll throw them up on the channel. If you haven't subscribed already and you're returning, make sure you subscribe now. Uh, huge thanks to Ashton from the Dunleary Rat Down Waves. Did I say that right? Yeah, the LR Waves, yeah. yeah. So right fullback Seamus James Coleman. Um yeah, better huge thanks. Better than James Coleman. So she's the skipper as well. But uh no, that's all your thoughts <laughs> in the comments. Don't forget to like the video as well. Alright, speak to you guys soon. Thank you.